Also developing tonight, several deaths at an Orange County intersection have neighbors calling for change. The most recent victim, just 15 years old. Fox 35's Daniel Lama broke this tragic story on Friday night. She joins us live tonight with an update. So, Danielle, you spoke to that teen's mother. I did, and Luann, people who live in this area of Hunters Creek, they are demanding change because this intersection, four people have died here in the last four months. And as you guys mentioned, the latest victim, just 15 years old. Every time he come back, he'll call me and say, Mom, I'm on my way home every time. And when I didn't get that call, I started to worry. 15-year-old Dominique Smith never made it home Friday. Troopers say he was riding his bike in this crosswalk when a driver turning right ran him over. You know, I just couldn't believe it. I was like, I just saw him just, you know, a couple of hours ago. I just couldn't believe that he was gone. It happened at Mallard Cove Boulevard and Town Center Boulevard in Hunters Creek, the same intersection where three men died in a crash in October. Troopers say a speeding driver T-boned a car trying to turn left out of the subdivision. It's like this has converted this corner into a cemetery. Mariella Para and Bert Lance Francis are among the neighbors at Mallard Cove pushing for safety changes. This leave you speechless, you know, being that it hits so close to home that somebody you know and here it is again. You know, a kid, uh, a friend of my son. Town Center Boulevard is in between OBT and John Young Parkway. Residents say it's gotten too busy and too fast for just a stop sign here. A traffic light, speed bumps, new signage, better street lights are just some of the suggestions they have for the county. And I just want them to do something about what happened. I don't want it to be swept under the rug because Dominique don't deserve that. Yeah, and we asked Orange County if they plan to make any changes here. They said they were checking with their public's work to public works department. Would get back to us as soon as they have an answer. Reporting live in Hunters Creek, Danielle Lama, Fox 35 News.